Man dives in to save a trapped beaver, realizes it's not a beaver at all. Although it can be easy to focus on the negatives of the world, there's no doubt about the fact that there are also some good people on this planet. This man is one of them. Although we like to believe that animals and humans always live in harmony and live alongside each other without a care in the world, that just isn't the case. There are many people who respect animals, their environment, and their livelihoods, and there are others who don't. It's these people that normally make their way onto the news, they're the people that become famous for all of the wrong things, and they're the people that get the attention. However, we're here to change that. For every person who doesn't respect animals, there are two people who love them more than anything. That's why many individuals have to get involved when they see an animal in danger. They have to do everything they can to try and save it, and they have to ensure that the animal does not perish in vain and without anyone looking out for it. One man did exactly that when he saw a beaver in trouble, but what he didn't realize was that it wasn't a beaver at all. If you're the kind of person that loves to head out into the great outdoors and enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer, then you're not alone. Jim Passmore is a resident of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and loves nothing more than to don his walking boots and get some fresh air when he has just a hint of free time. In fact, he did just that on a crisp March morning and decided to venture out of his house and into the surrounding area for a glimpse of nature. Although he expected this walk to be a leisurely stroll like every other walk he had embarked on, he had no idea that it would take him down a route he had never ventured down before. As a keen nature lover, Jim Passmore loves his hometown. Broken Arrow is an amazing environment that's full to the brim with forests, woodlands, snaking brooks, and even crystal clear lakes that provide a beautiful setting for a picnic or day out with friends or family. Of course, he doesn't always take humans with him. Jim is the proud owner of two adorable pooches who love nothing more than to take advantage of the natural space around them. On this particular day, Jim scooped up his dog's leads and took them to the nearby creek to stretch their legs and give them the chance to have a little splash in the water. The route that Jim and the dogs took was like any other day for them. They had walked the route countless times before, and Jim just assumed that they would have their walk, enjoy the natural surroundings, and then head back home. However, he soon realized that this wasn't just like any other day. As he passed by the side of the creek, Jim looked into the water and saw that something wasn't quite right. There was some kind of debris lying in the middle of the creek, and he had never seen it there before. As he tried to get a closer look, he realized that the object submerged in the water was covered in hair. The creek was full of thick mud and covered in water, but Jim could see that the object was submerged in between both of these different levels. It was stuck in the mud, and he wondered whether it was an animal of some kind. If it had been dragged into the creek by a predator, why had it not been eaten? Why had it been left there to rot? The more Jim looked at the scene in front of him, the more things just didn't add up. He once again tried to get a closer look at the object in the water, and it was at this moment that he realized the animal was actually alive. In fact, it was trying to free itself from the mud. As soon as Jim's dogs clocked onto what was going on in the water, they immediately began to bark and yelp. It was as though they sensed some kind of danger, and it was as though they were scared of the creature that lay beneath the deep. As he looked at his dogs and heard their concerned yelps, Jim began to worry. It was not like his dogs to react in such a way in a place that they knew so well, and he began to wonder whether he himself was in danger. After all, he couldn't see what kind of animal it was, and he couldn't really see the whole of its body. Was it a bear? Or was it another animal? Jim's dogs wanted nothing to do with the animal trying to escape from the creek, and the owner just didn't know what to do. Should he follow his dogs and retreat? Or should he try and help the animal that was clearly struggling? He looked around to see if there were any signs of animal or human life, and that's when he noticed something a little strange. Just a short walk away from the creek was an animal crate, similar to the kind of cages you put your animal in when you take them on vacation. Although Jim was confused to see such a thing by the creek, he just assumed that somebody had dumped it there because he didn't want it anymore. However, just to make sure, Jim made his way over to the crate and peered inside to make sure that nothing was out of sorts. It was on closer inspection that he realized there was a blanket in the cage. It was a colorful blanket that one would use to keep an animal warm, and this just confused the Broken Arrow local even more. What was it doing there? Where had it come from? What was it being used for? Jim racked his brains, but he had seen nothing like it before. He just didn't know what to make of the strange situation, but he had no idea that it was just going to get weirder. The more Jim looked at the crate and the area surrounding it, the more he realized that things just didn't seem to add up. 
he could see a huge amount of animal feces surrounding the cage, and he could see that the cage itself had become extremely dirty. He was extremely concerned about the welfare of whatever animal had once been in there, but he became even more concerned when he realized there was a huge chain attached to the cage. Alongside this, there was also a large bite in the side of the cage, where the animal could have escaped from. Jim couldn't believe the state of the cage, and he couldn't believe that any animal could have potentially been living in such conditions. He couldn't bear to look at it any longer, so turned his attention back towards the creek, where something caught his eye. A lone beaver was making its way along the water's edge, partially submerged beneath the ripples. Jim wondered whether this was the animal he had seen before, and wondered whether it had managed to escape. However, he wasn't convinced. So, he restrained his dogs and walked back in the direction of where he had seen the animal in the water. When Jim made his way back to the place where he saw the animal submerged in the mud and water, he realized that getting up close and personal with the animal wouldn't be an easy task. That's because the area around the creek was covered in overgrown bushes and foliage that made it almost impossible for Jim to get close to the edge. He quickly came to the conclusion that he would have to put his shoes and his feet into the water and trudge his way over to where the animal was submerged. As he got closer, he tried to work out what the animal was. The more he looked, the more he thought that it was a large beaver. Although Jim had no idea what kind of animal he was approaching, he could see that it was struggling. He knew that he just couldn't leave it stuck in the mud, and his instant reaction was that he wanted to help as much as he could. He was determined to get involved in the animal's efforts to escape the thick mud and water, but he knew that he had to plan his moves perfectly. He didn't know whether the animal was dangerous or whether the animal would try to attack him if he got too close. Jim knew that beavers were territorial creatures, and he didn't want to get on the wrong side of one if that's what the animal was. As well as being concerned for his own safety, Jim was also concerned about the state of the animal itself. After all, Jim knew that many stray and wild animals in the world have rabies, or are infected with other diseases that could prove fatal if they were to bite him. These diseases also cause the animals to react in unexpected and dangerous ways. They become rabid, they become scary, and they become unpredictable. Jim had no idea if the animal beneath the surface was infected with anything like that, so he made sure that each step was careful and controlled, so he could ensure that the animal remained calm. When Jim got close enough to see more of the animal, he realized just how big it was. He knew that he wouldn't be able to rescue the animal on his own, so reached out to others nearby and asked for help. They quickly surrounded the animal and came up with a plan of action that would allow them to help the animal. However, the number of people around it just seemed to panic the animal, and it began to bite at those who were close to it. In fact, one unsuspecting rescuer was bitten by the animal and quickly retreated to the hospital to make sure they hadn't been infected with anything. Despite the fact that the animal was obviously willing to bite anyone who tried to help it, Jim could see that it was in deep distress. He knew that he wanted to help, and he knew that he had to rescue it. However, he just couldn't work out how he was going to get the animal to trust it and allow him to get near it. He needed to hoist the animal out of the water, but how would he be able to do that if the animal kept reacting in such an aggressive way? In the end, Jim came up with a plan that he hoped would solve all of their problems. He took off his jersey and placed it over the dog's head to stop it from biting anyone nearby. With the jersey over the animal's head, Jim and the other rescuers felt more confident around the beast. They were able to get close to it without suffering from any bites, and they were even able to touch it and try to lift it out of the mud. However, their plan was easier said than done. The mud beneath their feet was just too thick for them to traverse, and they soon found their feet getting stuck before they could make their way out and onto solid ground. This meant that they couldn't grab hold of the animal and pull it out of the mud. In the end, the rescuing team fashioned their own pulley so that they could pull the animal out of the mud from the bank of the creek. Although the animal seemed to try and help itself get out of the water, those around it could see that it was just too exhausted to do so. When it finally reached solid ground, it fell over itself and fell collapsed on the edge of the water. Jim knew that this would be the best time to finally discover once and for all what the animal underneath the jersey actually was. A beaver. A bear. Or something else entirely. When Jim turned his attention to the animal at his feet, he reached down and pulled the jersey away from its head. It was at this moment that he realized it wasn't a beaver at all. Instead, it was a sheepdog that looked scared, nervous, and completely harmless. Jim couldn't believe what he was seeing, especially as it was obvious the dog had been neglected. 
Despite the fact that the dog looked to be extremely vulnerable, Jim was happy to see that it looked in a healthy condition. It seemed as though the dog wasn't injured in any way and didn't require any immediate medical attention. Although Jim could see that the dog wasn't in any immediate danger, he still needed to know where the dog had come from and why it had been stuck in the mud. So, he called the authorities and asked them to get involved. All of the rescuers were concerned about the ordeal the dog had gone through, and they wanted to make sure that the distressed pooch was able to calm down and realize that it was around loving helpers. After they gave it a blanket and stroked the dog, it began to stop shaking and engage with the people around it even more. When this happened, Jim and the others decided to give the adorable dog his very own name. They called him Teddy. When the rescue team had allowed Teddy to rest and calm down after his ordeal, the police eventually took out a lead and attached it to the dog. It was at this moment that they tried to get Teddy to use his legs and walk to the car. However, there was a problem. As Teddy tried to lift himself off the ground, they realized that he was struggling. It looked as though there was something wrong with his legs, and so they wanted to get him checked out. With Teddy being unable to walk, one of the rescuers rushed off to find a wheelbarrow, so that they could wheel the pooch to safety. On the way to the local Oklahoma Alliance for Animals, one of the rescuers decided to call ahead and warn them that they were bringing in a scared and potentially injured dog. They wanted them to be prepared for a pooch who was frightened of humans, and who would need extra care. As they did this, the rescuers also decided to speculate about Teddy's past. Where had he come from? How did he come to be stuck in the mud? Many suggested that Teddy had been injured and then abandoned by his owner, and there were even some who wondered whether Teddy's owner had taken him down the creek to take his life. When Teddy was greeted by the staff at the Oklahoma Alliance for Animals, they knew that they had a decision to make. They could either send him to an animal shelter where there was a chance he would be put down because of his injuries and his temperament, or they could try and rehabilitate and rehome him. Thankfully, they chose the latter option. While they knew it was the best thing to do for the dog, they also knew that it wouldn't be easy. Teddy had been mentally and physically scarred by his past, and he was not as cute as the teddy bears he was named after. Thankfully, the vet and the staff members knew they couldn't give up on him. When Teddy was introduced to the vet, they made sure to look him over and test him for any potential diseases or infections. They even tested for rabies as they wanted to make sure that the person he had bitten would be okay. Amazingly, Teddy tested negative for rabies, and the rescuer was given the all-clear. As they paid him more attention and calmed him down, they could see that Teddy wasn't as dangerous as he seemed to be. They made sure that he was safe, they made sure that he was healthy, and they even realized that he didn't have any health problems. Instead, his weight was causing him issues. Before too long, Teddy's story went viral, and everyone became aware of Jim's efforts to save the dog, even though he originally thought it was a beaver. After being found to be overweight, Teddy was put on a diet and was pushed into exercising and strengthening his legs even further. As more and more time passed, Teddy began to feel more comfortable around people, and he particularly took a liking to the receptionist who worked at the Oklahoma Alliance for Animals. Everyone was amazed to see his progress, and they couldn't believe that he was the same dog they took in to begin with. There's no doubt about the fact that Teddy has been given a second chance at life. If Jim hadn't rescued him, and if the Oklahoma Alliance for Animals hadn't decided to rehabilitate him, Teddy would have probably passed away in the mud. Instead, he has been able to thrive and make a full recovery after his ordeal. While it's not known whether he still remembers his past and his previous owner, it's fair to say that Teddy has since been able to move on from his ordeal and thrive with new people around him and new surroundings. With this second chance, he's like a whole new dog. So, what has happened to Teddy since the rescue mission? you'll be happy to know that he has since been able to find a new owner who has introduced him to a new home. In fact, he now lives with five other dogs and a cat, and he seems to have fit in perfectly. Although he doesn't go wandering near water too often, he does have a huge amount of space to roam around in. This has given him the chance to embark on a new life as a healthy and happy dog, and he has Jim to thank for that. It seems as though there are some good people in this world.